Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where we delve into historical events, the lives of historical figures, and unravel the threads of the past. I'm your host, Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today, we're diving into the life of a man who was way ahead of his time, a genius of the ancient world Archimedes. That's right Marco Archimedes of Syracuse, mathematician, inventor, engineer, astronomer, and philosopher. To truly appreciate the genius of Archimedes, it's crucial to understand the world he was born into. Let's set the scene, Archimedes entered the world around 287 BCE in Syracuse, a significant city-state on the island of Sicily. That's right Chuck. This era, known as the Hellenistic period, was a remarkable time in history. It followed the expansive conquests of Alexander the Great, which had a profound impact on the cultural and intellectual landscape of the Mediterranean. Absolutely Marco. The death of Alexander in 323 BCE led to the fragmentation of his empire into several Hellenistic kingdoms. This period was marked by a fusion of Greek, Middle Eastern, and Egyptian cultures creating a rich tapestry of philosophical, scientific, and artistic ideas. And Syracuse Archimedes' hometown was a vibrant hub of this cultural melting pot. It was a place where Greek and local Sicilian cultures intersected, fostering an environment ripe for intellectual pursuits. The political landscape of Syracuse itself was quite dynamic during Archimedes' lifetime. It was an independent city-state often caught in the power struggles of larger Hellenistic kingdoms and the burgeoning power of Rome. This blend of political intrigue and cultural dynamism provided a fertile ground for scientific and mathematical exploration. Philosophers, scholars, and scientists from across the Hellenistic world were drawn to centers of learning like Syracuse. That's why Archimedes' early life in such an environment was pivotal. With the confluence of ideas and the patronage provided by the ruling elites, including his possible relation to King Hiero II, Archimedes had the perfect backdrop to nurture his burgeoning genius. In a sense, the world of Archimedes was at a crossroads of history. The old traditions of classical Greece were blending with new ideas from the East, setting the stage for remarkable advancements in science, philosophy, and the arts. And it's within this fascinating tapestry of the Hellenistic period that Archimedes would rise to become one of the greatest minds of the ancient world. What a time to be alive and what a place to ignite the spark of genius. Now, let's delve into the early life and family history of Archimedes. While details are scarce, what we do know paints a fascinating picture of his formative years. Born around 287 BCE in Syracuse, Archimedes was the son of an astronomer named Phidias. This suggests that from a young age Archimedes was immersed in a world where science and study of the cosmos were valued. Absolutely Marco. His father Phidias wasn't just any astronomer. He was known for his study of the diameters of the sun and the moon, indicating a household where intellectual pursuits were a daily affair. And then there's the familial connection to royalty. Archimedes was believed to be related to King Hiero II of Syracuse. This royal connection likely provided him with access to a quality education, and resources that were not available to the average citizen of Syracuse. That's a significant point Marco. Being part of, or at least close to, the royal court could have exposed young Archimedes to leading scholars, thinkers, and even visiting intellectuals of the time. This kind of environment would have been ripe for nurturing a curious young mind. It's also worth noting that during Archimedes' youth, Syracuse was a center of learning and culture. It's possible that he had access to a variety of Greek texts, which would have included works on mathematics, science, philosophy, and engineering. Indeed Marco. And let's not forget about the educational system in Hellenistic Greek societies. It was comprehensive, focusing not just on academics, but also on physical education and moral philosophy. Archimedes would have been well-rounded in multiple disciplines. His early education likely laid the groundwork for his later innovations and discoveries. The emphasis on critical thinking, problem-solving, and a deep understanding of geometry and mathematics in Greek education would have played a key role in shaping his intellectual abilities. This early exposure to astronomy through his father, coupled with his royal connections and the rich intellectual climate of Syracuse, set Archimedes on a path to becoming one of the most influential scientists of the ancient world. And let's not forget Chuck, 
the era itself was a factor. The Hellenistic period was a golden age for science and knowledge. Archimedes was a product of his time, absorbing and contributing to the wealth of knowledge that defined this era. Exactly, Marco. His early years were a perfect storm of opportunity, intellect, and resources, culminating in the emergence of a genius whose works would stand the test of time. Diving into the world of Archimedes' talents is like exploring a treasure trove of scientific and mathematical marvels. His intellect wasn't just versatile, it was groundbreaking. True Chuck Archimedes was a polymath, excelling in various fields. As a mathematician, his contributions were revolutionary. He delved into geometry, arithmetic, and even what we now call calculus. Let's start with his work in geometry. Archimedes was fascinated with shapes, sizes, and measurements. He famously calculated the area of a circle and the surface area and volume of a sphere, which were monumental achievements for his time. And his method of exhaustion. This was a technique he used to determine these areas and volumes. It involved using shapes with known areas, like triangles, to approximate the area of more complex shapes. This method was so advanced, it laid the groundwork for integral calculus, developed millennia later. Then there's his work on pi. Archimedes devised an ingenious method to approximate the value of pi, the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. He was one of the first to provide a rigorous calculation of pi, and his bounds remained the most accurate for centuries. Moving on to his talents as an engineer and inventor Archimedes' inventions were nothing short of ingenious. He invented the Archimedes screw, a device used for raising water which is still used in some parts of the world today. His understanding of levers and pulleys also led to the famous quote, Give me a place to stand, and I shall move the earth. This was no mere boast, Archimedes understood the principles of leverage better than anyone of his time. Speaking of his engineering prowess, let's not forget the war machines he supposedly designed during the siege of Syracuse. His inventions included the claw of Archimedes, which could lift enemy ships out of the water, and the Archimedes heat ray, a weapon said to have set ships on fire using concentrated sunlight. Archimedes' rise to fame wasn't just due to his inventions or mathematical theorems. It was his method of thinking, his ability to approach problems from a unique angle, that truly set him apart. His work showcased not just raw intelligence, but a profound understanding of the physical world and its principles and his fame spread far beyond Syracuse. In the ancient world, where news traveled slowly Archimedes' reputation as a genius of unparalleled skill reached scholars and rulers across the Mediterranean. Indeed Marco. His contemporaries and subsequent generations of mathematicians and scientists were astounded by his work. Archimedes didn't just find solutions, he redefined problems and opened new avenues of scientific thought. His rise to fame was a testament to his extraordinary intellect and creativity. He was a true visionary, whose ideas transcended the limitations of his time. With such a vast array of talents and a mind that seemed to know no bounds, Archimedes' journey from a curious scholar in Syracuse to one of the most celebrated minds of antiquity is a story of intellectual triumph. Archimedes' contributions to science and technology were nothing short of extraordinary. Each of his inventions and discoveries not only showcased his brilliance but also had a profound impact on the ancient world and beyond. Absolutely Chuck. Let's start with the Archimedes screw. This was not just a simple device, it revolutionized irrigation and water management. Consisting of a screw inside a hollow tube, it was turned to draw water upwards. This invention was critical for agriculture, especially in Egypt, where it was used for irrigating fields along the Nile. Then there's his work on the lever. Archimedes famously said, Give me a place to stand on, and I will move the earth. This wasn't just grandiose talk. He provided the mathematical foundation for the lever, a fundamental machine that transformed the understanding of mechanics. Another notable invention was the claw of Archimedes also known as the chip shaker. This device was used to defend Syracuse against Roman ships during the siege of Syracuse. It functioned like a giant crane, lifting and capsizing enemy ships. The ingenuity of this invention lay in its use of simple machines livers and pulleys to achieve a powerful impact. Don't forget the Archimedes heat ray. Although its existence is debated, it was said to have used mirrors or polished shields to focus sunlight onto approaching ships, setting them ablaze. 
whether myth or reality, it speaks volumes about Archimedes' reputation as an innovator. On the mathematical front, Archimedes made significant strides in understanding the geometry of spheres and cylinders. He proved that the surface area of a sphere is for times its greatest circle, and that the volume of a sphere is two-thirds that of the cylinder in which it is inscribed. These findings were groundbreaking for the field of geometry. His work on spirals, known as the Archimedean spiral, was another marvel. It's a curve that radiates outwards, away from a central point, winding around that point in a growing spiral. Archimedes described this spiral mathematically, showing his deep understanding of geometry and algebra. And let's not overlook his contributions to the understanding of buoyancy and fluid mechanics. The Archimedes principle states that a body submerged in fluid experiences a buoyant force equal to the weight of the fluid it displaces. This principle is fundamental to modern hydrostatics and has numerous practical applications. In the realm of astronomy, although less known, Archimedes made contributions as well. He wrote The Sand Reckoner, where he attempted to calculate the number of grains of sand that could fit inside the universe. This wasn't just about counting sand grains, it was a way to challenge and expand the Greek perception of the size of the universe. Each of these inventions and discoveries reflect Archimedes' incredible ability to combine practical observations with abstract thinking. He didn't just theorize, he applied his theories to create tangible, functional innovations. His legacy as an inventor and a mathematician is a testament to his ingenious problem-solving skills, his profound understanding of physics and mathematics, and his relentless curiosity. Archimedes' life was filled with moments that not only define his career but also left an indelible mark on the annals of science and history. These moments highlight his ingenuity, his theoretical prowess, and his practical applications of scientific principles. One of Archimedes' most famous moments involves the legendary Eureka story. The king of Syracuse, Hiero II, suspected that his crown was not made of solid gold, as he had commissioned Archimedes was tasked with determining whether the crown was made of pure gold without damaging it. The breakthrough came when he was taking a bath. He noticed that the amount of water that overflowed the tub was proportional to the part of his body he submerged. This observation led him to realize that by measuring the water displacement caused by the crown, he could determine its density and compare it with that of pure gold. This method provided the solution to the problem and led to the famous exclamation Eureka, which means I have found it. Another remarkable moment in Archimedes' life was during the siege of Syracuse. The city was under attack by the Romans, and Archimedes was tasked with defending it. He designed a variety of war machines, including catapults and crossbows of immense size and power. One of the most ingenious defensive mechanisms attributed to Archimedes during this siege was the aforementioned claw of Archimedes. This device, resembling a giant crane with a grappling hook, was used to lift attacking ships out of the water and either drop them or cause them to capsize. It was a testament to his understanding of mechanics and his ability to apply that knowledge practically in warfare. Archimedes also reportedly designed the Archimedes heat ray during the siege. Although its existence is still a topic of debate among historians, the concept involved focusing sunlight onto approaching ships using mirrors or polished metal, setting them ablaze. Whether fact or fiction, this story has captivated the imagination of many and speaks to Archimedes' legendary status as an inventor. His mathematical breakthroughs were no less remarkable. His work on the approximation of pi and the formulas for the volume and surface area of a sphere were groundbreaking. These contributions were not just theoretical feats but also practical tools that would be used by engineers and scientists for centuries to come. In the field of mathematics, another one of Archimedes' famous achievements was the Archimedean spiral. His ability to describe this complex geometric shape mathematically was a significant leap forward in the understanding of geometry. And let's not forget Archimedes' method of exhaustion which he used to calculate areas and volumes of shapes. This method was a precursor to the integral calculus developed much later, showcasing his forward-thinking approach to mathematics. Each of these moments from Archimedes' life reflects not just a brilliant mind at work, but also a practical thinker who could apply his theories in real-world situations. His contributions during the Siege of Syracuse, in particular, demonstrate how his scientific and mathematical discoveries had direct and significant practical applications. Indeed Marco. 
the legacy of Archimedes is not just in his theoretical work but also in how those theories were applied to solve problems, defend his city, and expand the understanding of the physical world. The death of Archimedes is as much a part of his legend as his life. It occurred in 212 BCE, during the capture of Syracuse by Roman forces, marking the end of the Second Punic War. Syracuse had been under siege for two years, largely due to the defensive systems Archimedes had ingeniously devised. However, despite his efforts, the city eventually fell to the Romans, led by General Marcellus. The story of Archimedes' death, as recorded by the historian Plutarch, is as poignant as it is reflective of his character. According to the account, Archimedes was absorbed in a mathematical problem, drawing figures in the sand, when Roman soldiers stormed the city. A Roman soldier approached Archimedes possibly unaware of his identity. The soldier commanded him to come and meet General Marcellus. Engrossed in his work Archimedes responded, Do not disturb my circles, showing his unwavering focus on his studies even in the midst of chaos. The soldier, perhaps angered by the perceived defiance, killed Archimedes on the spot. This abrupt end to a life devoted to the pursuit of knowledge was a tragic irony. The Roman general Marcellus had actually given orders that Archimedes be captured alive, recognizing his brilliance and the value he could bring to Rome. Marcellus was reportedly angered and saddened by the death of Archimedes. He had admired the mathematician's genius and had intended to save him. Archimedes' death was not just a loss for Syracuse, but a loss for the entire world of learning and innovation. The circumstances of Archimedes' death highlight the volatile nature of the times he lived in. His life was a bridge between the world of intellectual exploration and the brutal realities of war and political upheaval. Archimedes' final moments also exemplify his dedication to his work. His last thoughts were not of fear or escape, but of the mathematical problem before him. This dedication to the pursuit of knowledge, even in the face of death, cements his legacy as a true philosopher and scientist. In a way, Archimedes' death symbolizes the end of an era. The Hellenistic period, known for its advancements in science, mathematics, and philosophy, was giving way to the rise of the Roman Empire, which would bring a different focus and set of values. Archimedes was buried in Syracuse, as he had wished, with a tombstone that bore the figure of a sphere within a cylinder, commemorating his favorite mathematical proof, the relationship between a sphere and a cylinder of the same height and diameter. His death, though tragic, is a poignant reminder of the human aspect behind historical figures. Archimedes was not just a legendary mathematician and inventor, he was a man deeply committed to his work, a trait that ultimately defined his life and his legacy. Archimedes left behind a legacy that extends far beyond his own time and continues to influence our world today. His contributions to mathematics, physics, engineering, and astronomy set foundational principles that have stood the test of time. Indeed Chuck. In mathematics Archimedes' work on the calculation of pi, his method of exhaustion for determining areas and volumes, and his studies on spirals and parabolas laid crucial groundwork for future mathematicians. His approach prefigured integral calculus, an area that wouldn't be fully developed until millennia later. In the realm of physics, Archimedes' principle on buoyancy remains a cornerstone. This principle not only explains why some objects float and others sink but also has practical applications in designing ships, submarines, and even in measuring the density and volume of objects. His contributions to engineering are also noteworthy. The Archimedes screw, for example, is a testament to his understanding of practical mechanics. This invention, used for raising water for irrigation and removing bilge water from ships, is still in use in some parts of the world today. Archimedes' work in the field of mechanics, especially his studies on levers and pulleys, transformed our understanding of force and movement. His famous quote, Give me a place to stand, and I shall move the earth, encapsulates the essence of mechanical advantage, a principle central to modern mechanical engineering. Beyond his tangible inventions and mathematical theorems Archimedes' method of problem-solving, and his analytical approach to the physical world have had a lasting impact. He exemplified the power of a curious, questioning mind and a rigorous approach to scientific inquiry. His influence extended into the Renaissance, inspiring figures like Galileo, da Vinci, and Newton. Archimedes was often cited by these later scholars as a source of inspiration, and his works were studied extensively. Archimedes' written works, such as On the Equilibrium of Planes, On Spirals, 
on the measurement of a circle, and, on floating bodies, have been preserved and studied through the ages. They not only serve as historical documents but also as educational texts that continue to teach and inspire. The story of Archimedes also serves as a reminder of the fragility of knowledge. Much of his work was lost to history, and what survives is only a fraction of his output. This loss underscores the importance of preserving scientific knowledge for future generations. His impact goes beyond science and mathematics. Archimedes represents the archetype of the scientist as both a thinker and a doer. Someone who not only contemplates the mysteries of the universe but also applies this understanding to solve practical problems. In popular culture, Archimedes is often portrayed as the quintessential mad scientist an image that while somewhat romanticized, speaks to his lasting fame and the public's fascination with his genius. In closing Archimedes' legacy is multifaceted, he was a pioneer in multiple fields, an inspiration to countless future scientists, and a symbol of intellectual curiosity and innovation. His work continues to be relevant, reminding us of the enduring power of human intellect and ingenuity. As we wrap up this episode on the remarkable life and legacy of Archimedes, we thank you, our listeners, for joining us on this journey through history. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and share the History AI podcast. Your support helps us bring more stories like that of Archimedes to you. Until next time, keep exploring the past and stay curious. Thanks for listening. From the mind behind the History AI podcast comes an electrifying journey into the past. A ripple through time, Franklin's folly. Dive into a tale where Benjamin Franklin, America's beloved inventor, takes an unexpected journey through time. But with his leap, he unleashes a powerful ripple. Now, with dark forces lurking in the shadows, harnessing this energy to shatter and enslave the world, it's a race against time. Will Franklin fix the future? Or will history rewrite itself? Uncover the secrets. A ripple through time, Franklin's folly. Time has never been more fragile. On Amazon now.